Alright guys, so we all know that playing as Rome in Total War is some of the most fun you can have with the series. Whether it's the Julii, the Brutii, or Scipii families in the original Rome or Rome Remastered, any one of the eras of Rome in Rome 2 Total War and its DLC campaigns, or in Total War Attila with the challenging but immensely rewarding Western or Eastern Roman empires. Rome is just one of those civilizations that will always be worth booting up for a campaign, but you know what's even better than all of this? Rome in Total War Mods. Today, I want to go through my top 5 mods for Roman gameplay in Total War. These, for me, are the absolute best that the series has to offer, with fun, engaging mechanics, historical immersion like you've never seen before, and improvements to the core gameplay of the games that they're built on. By the end of this video, I guarantee you will have found yourself a mod you need to try next to conquer the world again as Rome. Bottom of the list here, but still very much a mod of superb creativity and fun, is Ancient Empires for Total War Attila. This baby converts the game into the height of the Punic Wars with Rome and Carthage at each other's throats, so it's an amazing setting. Unit rosters are pretty much all overhauled, especially Rome with some fantastic units and visuals from extremely challenging campaign gameplay, new economic and social mechanics, and a visually vibrant campaign map compared to the dark and gloomy base game Attila, it's really, really amazing. Ancient Empires mechanically comes with my all-time favorite social government system with tiers of autonomy for settlements and regions depending on local populations, income generation, and cultural differences, etc., which is just so cool. The AI is actually quite challenging on the campaign, which is nice, and between the unique events, the immersive artwork, the unit visuals, it's just really engaging. On the other hand, of course, I'm not a big fan of the battles, I think AE and its successor kind of classical empires both have mediocre battle gameplay and at times there are some bug issues here and there but overall ancient empires absolutely deserves a place on this list whenever i play it i always enjoy it Alright, now Europa Barbarorum is a classic in the Total War modding scene, and here in fourth place I'm placing both EB1 and 2 because in my eyes they both achieve very similar styles of Total War gameplay. If you don't know, EB1 is a conversion for Rome, the original, and EB2 is a conversion for Medieval 2. Both have pros and cons, clear ones based on the games that they're built on, but also in the way that they've been developed. EB2 is much more ambitious, much more historical in research and immersion, and at times has an unhealthy dose of difficulty for the player. It's a great time, but it can be overwhelming if you don't know what you're doing. Whereas EB1 is basically its younger brother, less ambitious, less scope, simpler, less of everything, which for some people is a breath of fresh air. But despite all of this, the sheer amount of work and time that's gone into making these mods literally means they are content-wise the biggest and fullest Roman experiences you can honestly have in Total War by a wide margin. I mean, Divide and Impera might come close, but EB is still far ahead of it. Every step of the way in EB2 especially, you are constantly learning something new, some new local unit, some historical fact about a region or a city or a building, and especially on the battle side of things, you're constantly coming up against challenging AI that you need to find new ways to adapt to. It is seriously a tough time. I mean, I have failed more campaigns on EB2 than on any other mod, which is why it's so rewarding to get a good, fun campaign going, especially with Rome, really makes you feel like you can appreciate the work that this mod achieves. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, if you have the older games, Rome and Medieval 2, and you're thinking about a Roman campaign to boot up again, you will absolutely not regret, I mean, actually, you will regret the first five campaigns you play, <laughs> but the soon after, you'll find a groove, you'll understand the mechanics and the AI behavior, and you'll have a super fun time on that one campaign where everything just starts clicking. Also, if you do decide to play these mods, make sure to install the free campaign mod and some reshade. Those will both help you with camera movements in battles and help you get the most out of the dated graphics.
All right, this is an obvious one. I always rave about RTR Imperium Serectum, and it deserves a place in this list. Yes, it's still quite young, there's a lot of work to do, and Rome is actually one of the factions that has not been overhauled quite yet. But compared to the Greek and Anatolian factions, it's still a super fun time as well. With the massive world of the campaign map that comes with over 1,800 regions, tons of new mechanics, units, cities, governments, cultures, you name it. It's just mind-boggling how insane and deep this campaign is. And honestly, the best reason to play as Rome in this mod is to invade the Greeks. Yes, you have to fight off Carthage a little bit first when you begin your campaign, but with Rome in RTR Imperium Serectum, literally the most fun I've ever had is taking Rome and invading the messy Greek world with all these factions fighting each other, you coming in as a powerhouse of a faction, and messing it all up and taking over. Aside from that though, the other reason why it's on this list is because Rome is very soon to be overhauled next. The team will be releasing an update imminently that looks at some of the Western Balkan factions, Illyria, some emergent factions, and soon after that, the, their attention will be diverted to overhauling Rome, which will be huge. New Roman Senate mechanics, hopefully, huge Roman unit rosters with massive historical authenticity because believe me, the mod team do absolutely everything to get the historical research right and together with updating the culture, the economy mechanics and with how beautiful and detailed the unit visuals are in this mod, it's going to be one of my favorite ways of playing Rome in Total War. RTR Imperium Serectum is on Rome Remastered, by the way, and has a huge community supporting it, and the dev team are so active with development, so if you've ever needed a reason to get the game on a sale, to play a mod you've never really heard of or considered before this, this is it. This is literally the hottest mod in earlier Total War games right now, so it's a great time to jump in on the train and see it grow and develop into a proper jewel that it can be. Now, this one is a bit of a lesser known mod on the scene, but personally, it well deserves to be above all the other mods I've spoken about thus far. I have never had a bad experience on Age of Justinian, and that is saying a lot. Even with DEI, I've had some crap campaigns with Rome, but with Age of Justinian, the Roman faction in this mod is literally peak Roman gameplay in Total War. It takes place just after the reconquering of old Roman provinces by Emperor Justinian where the empire is fractured and barely surviving and you have to hold it together. You have to fight off multiple enemies, invading hordes, goths, disease and famine. It's like Attila on steroids and much, much more fun. You have a chance at surviving but you need to play your economic cards right, give up regions while expanding into other areas and honestly every few turns the AI surprises me. Unique events catch me unprepared and I am at a loss for words every single time. Age of Justinian by modder Anisvara is part of a series that I love. Just like this, there's the Dark Ages mod, the Rise of Islam mod, and a few others, and honestly, they are all worth playing, but Justinian, for me, is absolutely the best of the best. Rome is basically equal to playing as Rome in DEI, and that is saying a lot. Battles feel good and important, especially with difficult replenishment and campaign circumstances. The sheer number of enemies, the diplomatic moves, you can make to gain alliances and have buffer states, it all just works. And before you know it, just when you think you have control, a unique event pops up letting you know Goths have sacked a bunch of cities in Italy again and you've lost a ton of territory you need to gain back. Like, it happens in an instant, like a slap in the face, and you are absolutely gobsmacked. Like, this is an amazing piece of content here. If you have Attila, I cannot recommend this enough. Honestly, it feels like a complete mod in a time period that is super interesting, it's easy to install, all, no bugs or crash issues, it's really polished, so much more immersion and challenge that I could have imagined from a Total War mod. It's just a brilliant time, that's all I need to say. If you're going to play anything in this list, make sure to play Age of Justinian, you will not regret it.
Now, of course, at number one, we have Divide at Impera. DEI will always be the goat for me of modding in Total War, and there's a very simple reason for that. It basically made Rome 2 a good game to play. Battles in Vanilla went from a 3 out of 10 to a 7 out of 10 in DEI. Campaign went from a 5 out of 10 in Vanilla to a solid 10 out of 10 for me in DEI. It improves the game in so many ways and goes far above and beyond just improving the game to deliver dozens of factions across multiple settings and new campaigns with new mechanics, thousands of new units, new maps, new everything. At launch, Rome 2 was a shallow of a game, of course. Little to no depth, siege battles that are forgettable, mechanics that felt like a chore, but granted today I do appreciate everything CA did after launch, and especially CA Sophia with what they did with the DLC campaigns with Rise of the Republic, but DEI is a mod with years of continuous work and you can feel it. Everything has detailed descriptions, everything is meticulously designed, well thought out, and historically researched. Everything is made with balance in mind with challenge and it's simply superior to any other mod I've played in the series. And honestly, the best part about DEI though is what it did for battles in Rome 2. Not only are the battles slower paced, and to be fair, with sub mods can be quite modular. So if you think they're too slow, you want it a little bit sped up, there are sub mods for that. And especially to make it tactical and engaging, there are lots of sub mods for that too. But the DEI team have created something seriously beautiful and historical. They've created balanced battles that, yes, favor Rome, but also allow other other factions to gain tactical advantage, they've created battles that have deep and meaningful mechanics, range, armor, hit chance, all of that has been switched up to evolve, unit roles, battle abilities, you name it. And it's resulted in huge battles that have a massive impact on your campaigns as well, especially with how difficult the population mechanic is to manage in your provinces. Of course, there is an argument to be made that there is unit bloat, you know, there are plenty of units that don't really need to be here, about battles being way too slow, especially in much larger battles, but there are some remedies for that, as I said, and despite those issues, Divide and Impera, compared to everything else out there, is simply the greatest mod ever made in the series. Overall, Total War is an amazing place to be for Roman gameplay. Whether it's the rise of the early Republic with DEI, the Punic Wars with ancient empires, or later crumbling borders with the Age of Justinian mod, and more, there are so many options to choose from, all with brilliant, unique perspectives and designs on how to play as Rome in the campaign and in battles. The five mods I've talked about today are my top five for Roman gameplay that I think any interested Total War player will enjoy. They're easy to install, highly polished, and epic fun. Also, honorable mentions, of course, to Parabellum on Rome 2, Europa Perdita and Fall of the Eagles on Attila, and of course the Roman era mods as well, if you want to play out all of Rome's history in one mod, pretty much from start to finish. Separate video on that one coming very soon. And that's it for today, guys. I wanted to share my top five Roman mods in Total War today and explore why I think they are the absolute best of the best, the creme de la creme. But I'd really like to hear your thoughts as well. Let me know in the comments section below. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Total War content, gameplay, and mod spotlights just like this. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.